Maybe my favorite thing that took place during the presentation was in relationship to AirPods. I'm a bit of an audio thing guy. Yeah. Uh, and I appreciate the I appreciate a good audio experience in general, particularly on mobile. You always hear me talking about mobile speakers. People mm -hmm. sitting there saying, I'm like on my headphones on, Lou, you know, relax. But for me, I figure, hey man, you gotta put a speaker in anyways. If you're gonna put a speaker, put it come on. Let's do something here. And Apple has done that, man. Right now, people are saying, damn, damn, Lou's liking what Apple's doing. It's funny. It's funny. Yeah. But it's true. The iPad speaker will blow you away based on the form factor. It's and same with the iPhone. iPhone, less so compared to some of the competitors, but the iPad compared to competitors, like I tested the speakers on all the Surface products, not even close. The iPad has a fantastic sound, particularly the bigger one of the Pro model. So they care about audio to a certain degree. As much as I'm not a huge fan of the audio quality on the AirPods, convenience plays a huge role there. And the AirPods Pro took it to a better level. And now this new feature aims to take it even further. Apple has invested in content. Apple TV Plus is an interest for them now. They want people to subscribe to it. They even showed off a couple of upcoming shows. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm trying to figure out how they're going to get their hit show. It just doesn't seem to be happening yet. Mm -hmm. They're struggling over there. It's tough to be a content company and a technology company simultaneously. Walk that line. Apple products in the content. It's a you, ever, you ever see that thing with the bad guys can't be using an iPhone in their shows? Oh, there's not a single bad guy in any any Apple show that's using an iPhone. Mm. And so I, there was some director who did a show for it. He did an interview, and he maybe wasn't supposed to leak it, but he said, if you're watching any show and you're, you're it's like a mystery, you're trying to figure out who's good and bad, and you're at the beginning part of the show or movie or whatever, just look at who's not using an Apple phone, and now you get your bad guy. <laughs> it's just a spoiler. Yeah, instant spoiler. We just spoil it for everyone. Yeah, Apple won't let bad guys use iPhones in movies. Knives Out director Ryan Johnson says. The writing director of Knives Out revealed that Apple will will permit film productions to use its products on screen, but bad characters can't have an iPhone on camera. How crazy is that? Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do, Will? You're going to give the evil guy the product you're also trying to sell where your profit margin is way higher than the show and the subscription service? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. You want to talk about embedded scenarios... My God, we're talking ecosystem and iMessage. How about hardware, content, actors, directors? Oh! It gets very political. That's hefty. It's a lot of pieces to it, but it's understandable. You get where they're coming from, but it is going to ruin some people's experience. Everyone's going to be just looking at the phones now Yeah. instead of watching the show. <laughs> Who's the bad guy? What was his phone, though? <laughs> you picture like these mysterious shows. I don't know. I watched House of Cards the first season. Yeah. And you don't really know who's good and bad or I don't remember, but it's a little mysterious, but you could easily just track the phones mm -hmm. going forward. Anyway, getting back to the main feature here, the excitement I have around an AirPod development, which, uh, which I was surprised to see today, is a new feature which is going to use some of the hardware embedded inside of the mobile device as well as the AirPods to figure out spatially where you are and where sounds should come from. Now, it's completely, it's virtual. Obviously, you have a single speaker in each ear. But I've had some software experiences in the past that can do a pretty good job of emulating, simulating this kind of surround sound experience in a, in a small earbud. Now that they're integrating the hardware element, when you turn your head, the, if the actor is... If his voice is moving or the explosion is moving relative to your position in space, that's pretty immersive, mm -hmm. particularly on a mobile experience. You don't have a movie theater at your disposal. What happened to the movie theaters right now? Yeah, so our mobile devices had to become more like movie theaters. A lot of people have a phone or an iPad, and now you they pair this thing together. They're sitting on the couch, and they got a movie theater. And it's also, uh, they did mention that it was fixed into, like, where you're looking, right? You're not going to turn your head and all of a sudden the explosion is just going to be, like, here. 
it's still going to be like here. Yeah, it's it's an integration of the screen and your head, both. Yeah, it's they're like talking to each other. Yes, it's figuring out your location in space based on the accelerometer, gyroscope, a variety of sensors. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty incredible thing to look at on paper. I have to try it out to see, of course, if it's effective or not. But talk about that undertaking as a developer. So interesting to figure out how to make something like this happen with the hardware, the software, and holy moly. I mean, I don't want, I'm, I can't tackle something like that, you know? No. I can, uh, I can barely get the order right over with the, with the iced tea at the Starbucks. Yeah. I can barely get that going. So I stumbling on my words there. Uh, I started saying I'll, uh, only two pumps of the sugar is what I'm doing now. Mm. And so I got to remember, oh, two, you know, yeah. ice, black tea, uh, just two pumps of sugar. Mm. And I don't want the lemonade. You see? And most days it, I screw it up. So Well, Apple ha probably has a fix for that too. They, I guarantee it. You know, They'd be like, based on his on position in space as he travels through the drive through we know exactly what he wants. Based on his pace, the speed at which he's approaching the drive through you know if he needs two pumps of sugar, or five mm. pumps or whatever. And the reason I said two is because it's a venti size. It's a big iced tea, Will. Mm. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Because the ratio changes as you scale up. 